Hey guys, this is Torin. Today we're going to be reviewing the Eldrazi Incursion deck. Um, so this is the new Eldrazi deck that is coming with the upcoming Modern Horizons 3. Uh, so this is actually an Eldrazi Tribal deck, which is really great. You know, Eldrazi Tribal uh, is something that people wanted last time they brought out an Eldrazi Precon. So this one here is actually going to be Eldrazi tr uh, Tribal. However, 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 it is going to be uh, all colors, right? including colorless so six color deck which is very interesting i love that idea right i love that idea however however i, I will start off this by saying that this deck is missing some really nice reprints um, as well as it didn't really take advantage of the fact that it is six color. All right, so the main face commander here is Ulalek Fused Atrocity. So this is obviously, you know, fusion between Ulamog and Kozilek, I think it is. Um, so he is devoid, costs five, but you can replace any of those colors with a colorless one. Uh, and then whenever you cast an Eldrazi spell, you can pay two colorless. If you do, copy all spells you control, then copy all triggered and activated abilities, and then you can choose new targets for them. This is actually really cool because it interacts with the stack in a very interesting way. You get to copy everything on the stack that you control. Uh, so including whatever Eldrazi spell you just cast, whether it was a, you know, uh, an actual spell or like an instant or sorcery or whether it was a creature, you know, you get to copy that as well as, you know, being able to copy all those activated and triggered abilities. So you can, you know, there's a lot of different activated and triggered abilities in here. You can just build the stack up and then you can copy all those with all like go all the way down, copy them all. Boom. There's some really cool stuff with him. Now, um, what I will say about this deck is that I don't think it really took advantage of the whole, having five colors thing now the whole great thing about having five colors is that you can pull in a lot of very interesting cards from other colors right like you know you can use the the ramp from green you can use some of black's removal some of white's removal and you know protection and you know some of red's haste stuff and you know there's a lot of different stuff that you can kind of pull from each of the different colors to build up a really nice kind of five color deck this however I don't think really did that. It did focus very heavily down on the Eldrazi. So if you wanted to go Eldrazi Tribal, I think that this is probably the better pre-con to pick up. But as I said, you know, you're missing out on all of that stuff. So looking through the creatures, obviously they are all going to be different Eldrazi's. The secondary commander here is Aslask, the Swelling Scourge. So he makes it so that whenever him or another colorless creature dies, you get an experience counter. Then you can pay one of every color and then you give plus X plus X to all your creatures uh, until... You know, end of turn where X is the amount of uh, experience counters you control and then scions and spawns you control gain indestructible and annihilator so you can kind of build those up. Uh, you'll notice that there's, you know, uh, just a lot of Eldrazi in here. You know, it's classic kind of Eldrazi. You get scions, you get spawns, you get to, you know, exile some cards there, you know, make some interesting stuff here with inversion behemoth to flip the power and toughness of creatures. Um, you know, lots of very interesting stuff in here that is very, very, you know, Eldrazi, but then they've also taken it slightly differently. So say, for example, this Angelic Aberration here, uh, obviously, you know, it's an Eldrazi angel. It's an, like an angel that got eldrazi uh, And it does a very similar thing to, you know, angels. You get to sack things. Uh, so, you know, you can sack creatures that are power or toughness, one or less. And then you get to create Eldrazi angels. Very kind of angel-esque kind of stuff. Um what other ones is there? Like, you know, serpents and you've got Morophont in here, which is a very, very great reprint. Uh, you know, that's, that's a great reprint, Morophon being in here. Uh, you know, just some really kind of interesting stuff in here. And I do really, really love the kind of creatures that they've chosen and stuff and the new creatures that they've added in. You also get Ugin in here as a reprint, not too bad in a priced reprint as well. All is dust getting a reprint here. But this is where it kind of falls apart a little bit when you look at the the area here, the spells, the instants and sorceries. They've chosen very elderly. Eldrazi, Eldrazi instance and sorceries, right? Like, you know, there's some stuff to do with colors here, some Eldrazi immunity. That's a new one, which is really good. Don't get me wrong. I think that's a great one, but the ones that they've chosen for kind of like the reprints and stuff are a little meh. 
I don't know. I just think that they kind of didn't take advantage of having all of that kind of, um, you know, all the different colors and everything. They've chosen some green stuff in here for card draw and stuff, which is good, but it's all focused around, you know, like the greatest power, like return of the wild speaker, greatest power, risk card draw based on your power and stuff. Uh, you know, a little bit, meh um you know some of the artifacts in here not too bad i don't know why idol oblivion is here not necessarily agreeing with that soul ring and arcane signet you know ever flowing chalice pretty good um you know having all the talismans or at least you know four talismans in here really good herald torn decent because of the fact that it is an eldrazi based deck and stuff um you know it's, there's some kind of mystic forge is a really great one Mystic Forge is a really great one to have in here. Dreams Don't Hedron's not too bad as well. Aldrazi Monument getting a reprint and Forsaken Monument too. Um, you know, and then we get to the enchantments here where, you know, a little bit blah. Uh, Awakening Zone, you know, that's going to get you some spawns. They're going to be used for other things. Eldrazi Conscription's a good, you know, a interesting card. I don't think I necessarily agree with it being in this deck i don't think it's great um in prison in the moon you know there's there's just room for it to be heavily improved in the in in my opinion in the spells artifacts and enchantments area pulling upon those kind of stronger cards from other areas like you know um like a black market con connections for example if you want to upgrade this deck, obviously, you know, it doesn't necessarily fit the kind of deck that they're going for there, but something like a black market connections, creating, you know, the shapeshifters and stuff would be crazy, crazy great in this deck, right? You guys get it? Um, so overall, you know, I think that it's a good basis for an Eldrazi based precon, but it's just got room for improvement to pull upon all that stuff from the different colors that would be better. Uh, the land base isn't too bad. I'm not going to like, it's not the best of land bases. Don't get me wrong, but it's about the best that you kind of get in a pre-con. And it is an amazing, like five, it, it's a decent kind of start to a five color, um, five color mana base because of the fact that, you know, it's got all the, the pain lands in here. Um, you know, decent there. Uh, it's got, you know, just some really kind of great lands overall. They added, I think it's all 10 of the different pain lands in here, which is good. Uh, you know, secluded courtyard is not too bad in here too, because of the fact that it is a tribal deck. Uh, it does have the temples or at least, you know, two of the temples in here for some reason, but you know, I, I, I don't think that, you know, there was going to be an insanely great, you know, uh, mana base in here that wasn't going to be around this. I think this is about the best mana base that they would print into a pre-con because otherwise, you know, you're getting into like the bond lands and the shock lands and stuff, which they don't really print into pre-cons. Unfortunately, that would be really great if they did that. But unfortunately we don't really get to see that kind of stuff. Um, so overall, you know, kind of giving my full thoughts, I think that the, the face command is really awesome. I think that Aslask is really awesome. Um, you know, none of the really, like, the Titans or anything like that kind of reprint in here. Um, I do like the the different creatures that they included in here. I don't think that they're too bad. I think that they're very interesting. Uh, but in regards to, you know, pulling upon that kind of taking advantage of having access to all those colors, that's the area that you definitely want to kind of look at upgrading this deck in. But that's it for today, guys. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Have a great day and goodbye.